Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to study about LC oscillators. But before that, let's just discuss a simple concept. This I just thought of discussing it. A very interesting one. You have to draw the VT and IT waveform. Uh, the capacitor are having initial capacitor are having initial voltage of V naught and inductor is having initial current of I naught. Four circuit are there. In this circuit, you need to draw the VT waveform. So tell me what will happen in this one. Let's just copy this one. Tell me what will happen. Vt will be V0 forever, right? For the first circuit, Vt will be V0 forever. This is the graph of Vt. So, Vt is going to be V0 forever, right? Now, let us consider the second circuit. Before t less than 0, it was v naught, and after that, it will be v naught. Now, let us consider the second circuit. So this is the circuit, and in this circuit, the switch is closed at t equals to 0, right? When switch is closed, what will happen? From v naught to it will go to 0, right? Vt will go from v naught to 0. Because when the switch closes, what will happen? This is the capacitor with initial voltage of V0. It will remain there. But just as the switch closes, what will happen? This is also ground. This is also ground. This V0 will be discharged through it. And it will be discharged instantaneously. Why instantaneously? Because there is infinite current. The current here is V0 voltage. What is the resistance? This capacitor will be replaced with the V0 voltage. What is the resistance? That is 0. So, infinite current. Because of this infinite current, from V0 to it goes to 0. Also, you can see this potential is 0. This potential is 0. So, this has to go to 0. From V0 to 0, it goes. Right? So, suddenly, it goes from V0 to 0. Let us take the third one. Tell me what will happen in this one. We, we will draw IT waveform, right? We will draw IT waveform. What do you think what will happen? Initially, the current is Initially, the current is I naught. The current is I naught. Now, what you are doing? You are open circuiting it, right? Inductor is having I naught current, and you are just open circuiting it, right? This is open circuiting it. You are open circuiting it. Now, you are open circuiting it. That means the I naught current has no path to flow. When you are open circuiting it, this I naught current has no path to flow. So that means the current will go down to 0. From I naught to it will go down to 0. Also, you will see there is infinite voltage across the inductor. How infinite voltage? Because what will be the voltage? Voltage will be voltage across the inductor. What will be the voltage across the inductor? What, uh, what will be the voltage? Current is I naught and what is the impedance? That is infinity. A voltage across the inductor will be infinity, right? So, because of infinite voltage, there is an instantaneous change in the current from 0 infinity to from I naught to 0 it goes. Let us take the last case. In the last case, what was the diagram? The switch was closed. The switch was always closed. The switch was always closed. So what will be the waveform of IT? IT will remain there forever. Okay. Sorry, I naught will remain there forever. Look, why did I take this example? Because we are comfortable with the capacitor one. Like V naught voltage is there, and if we are closing the switch, it will go to zero. But when it is about inductor, what do we think? We think that it is zero. It is I naught. If we are closing the switch, the current will be reduced to zero. No, it will not be reduced to zero. If you open circuit it, then it will be zero. If you are short circuit it, short circuiting it, the current will remain there. Are you getting my point? 
हेयर वॉट इज वीएल वॉट इज वीएल हेयर हेयर वीएल इज जीरो राइट आई शुड यूज डिफरेंट कलर ऑफ पेन हेयर वीएल इज जीरो दैट मीन्स नो चेंज इन करंट राइट सो द आई नॉट करंट विल रिमेन देयर एज इट इज और यू कैन अप्लाई द लाबला ट्रांसफॉर्म एज वेल एंड यू विल ऑल्सो गेट टू नो ओके यू कैन सोल्व दिस लाबला ट्रांसफॉर्म एज वेल सो आई नॉट करंट विल रिमेन देयर एज इट इज एंड इफ इट इज ओपन सर्किटेड इट विल हैव टू गो टू जीरो इंस्टेंटेनियसली आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ऑफ नॉट सो दैट्स वाई आई टूक दिस एग्जाम्पल राइट पीपल मैं गेट कंफ्यूज दैट इफ दे सी दैट कैपेसिटर इज इंडक्टर इज शॉर्ट सर्किटेड इफ द इंडक्टर इज शॉर्ट सर्किटेड दैट डजेंट मीन द करंट विल बी जीरो The current will be finite. If the inductor is open circuited, then the current will be zero. Okay, that's why I took this example. Now this example will be used in the further analysis. Now we will be studying LC oscillator. Okay, so we have studied, we have seen three responses: underdamped, overdamped, and critically damped. We didn't see undamped response. Why so? Because there was resistance involved. But now in this circuit, in those circuit, resistance will not be involved. If resistance is not involved, there can be constant oscillations. That means there will be no steady state value. The expression will keep on going, like from zero to V naught, V naught to zero, zero to V naught, like like that. It will keep on going. Okay. If the resistance are there, there was some damping, but now this is the undamped response. Why it is undamped? Everything we will see. Okay. So now I have I have um, first I will see first we will see source free response. Okay. So inductor is initially having I naught current. Capacitor is having initially V naught voltage. Now, the it is saying that the switch is moving from position A to position B. Why did I write like that? Why couldn't I write write like this? That this capacitor is initially charged to V naught, and it is having initial current of I naught. Now the switch is closed. What is wrong with this? When the switch was open, at the time when the switch was open, how can it have I naught current? In case of capacitor, we can see that when the switch was open, it can have V naught current, V naught voltage, right? When the switch is open, when the switch is open, it will have V naught voltage. That's fine. But uh, when the switch is open, it cannot have I naught current, right? Because it will be violating KCL. From here, I naught current should flow, but that cannot flow because it is open circuited. So it cannot have I, I naught current, no? When the switch is open. So that's why, like, in the in theory. Like many times you will see these kind of question. Even in the exam you will see that the switch is being closed. The inductor is having initial current. So even in exam you will see. In the previous analysis we have also used. In the further analysis we will also use like this. Okay, but that's practically wrong. Uh, like someone may get a doubt as well. Like uh, I haven't explained this concept before. So people will may think as well. Like if if it is open circuit, how can there be current? Yeah, there cannot be current. So that is wrong actually. Okay, a different kind of switch has to be used for that. Okay. so first it is at a that means it was having i not constant current now it is moved to b the switch was at a that means this was the condition this was the condition that means it was having i not current now it is moved to b now it is moved here to the capacitor okay so you have to find the expression of vt and it let's do it on next page solving by laplace transform okay so first we will solve by laplace transform so what is the condition we have an inductor which has an initial current of i not we have a capacitor which has an initial voltage of v not okay so how we will do first we will solve by laplace then we will solve by differential equation then we will see sourced lc circuit and in the last i will tell you the method from there you can write in one step okay in one step you will you will be writing every expression complex to complex circuit in one step you will be writing okay that will be very interesting so just Was the video completely okay? So we will convert it into Laplace transform. Transform. Okay. So we are transforming it to LS. Now, uh, in the direction of current, negative to positive. L I not voltage source. In the direction of current, negative to positive. Right. The capacitor is having a. V naught by S voltage and a capacitance of one by C S. Okay, what is the direction of I T given? I T is current in the inductor. Okay, 
so current in the inductor that means it they are referring to this okay and what is vt vt is the voltage across the capacitor so what is vt is this vt no this is not vt right uh, actually this is not it this is is this is is and this is this is not vs right what is vs vs is this the complete one right so you can find the expression of is so there are two voltage source from here if you start this will be li node and this will be v node by s so li node plus v node by s now this is current will be giving me drop in this direction in this direction right so if i start from here plus minus plus minus so is into 1 by cs plus ls right so i just need to find the expression of i just need to find the expression of what of is only right so i will keep li node plus v node by s uh, so i can keep it like this li node s plus v node by s is cs 1 plus lc s square right so from here what is 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 apparently having two components this s and s will get cancelled so lc i note s by lc s square plus 1 lc i note s plus lc plus cv i note no, cv note upon 1 plus lc s square right these two two components are having I, is is having these two components let's move on to the next page is is equals to lc i note s upon lc s square lc i can take common plus 1 by root lc right plus oh sorry sorry plus 1 by lc for now 1 by lc i will write plus cv note lc i think i can take common s square plus 1 by lc right so it will be s upon s square plus 1 by root lc square into i note right plus it will be v naught by l but i have to multiply and divide by 1 by root lc why i am doing so why i am doing so because i know for sinusoid what is the expression what is the expression omega naught upon s plus omega naught square that is s square plus omega naught square that is for sin sinusoid inverse laplace right inverse laplace and inverse laplace of s upon s square plus omega naught square is cosinusoid right these basics you know right these basics of laplace you 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 must know because i have already taught you all this right what is the laplace transform of sinusoid and cosinusoid for sinusoid it is omega naught upon s square plus omega naught square and for cosinusoid it is s upon s square plus omega naught square so what i am actually doing is that i am this is my omega so omega naught upon s square plus omega naught square this is what i am doing right so basically my it would be now now my it would be i naught cos omega naught t plus this will be this will be v naught into root c by l into sin omega naught t where omega naught is 1 by root lc
ओके तो दिस इज माई एक्सप्रेशन सो आई टी एक्सप्रेशन इज आई नॉट कोस ओमेगा नोट टी प्लस वी नॉट इन टू रूट सी बाई एल साइन ओमेगा नोट टी यू विल राइटिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन वन स्टेप ओनली दैट आई विल टेल लेटर ऑन ओके सो फर्स्ट आई है आई टी नाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी सी टी ओके सो बाई ला प्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ओनली आई विल फाइंड वी एस सो नाउ दिस वॉज फॉर आई एस नाउ दिस आई कैन कॉपी ओके दिस वॉज फॉर आई एस Here we were finding IS. Now I will find VS. So how will I find VS? So let's just assume this is grounded. So this potential will be VS, right? So what I can write? VS minus V naught by S into CS plus VS. Plus L I not upon L S is equals to zero. Are you getting this point? This potential is V S. V S minus V not S upon this impedance is the current in this direction, right? And now what is the current in this direction? The current in this direction is V S plus L I not by L S, right? Because this potential is minus L I not. So V S plus L I not by L S is equals to zero. So from here you need to solve the V S expression. From here we are getting C S plus one by L S is equal to C V naught minus I naught by S. Am I right or wrong? V of S, V C of S you can say or V of S you can say. So it will be. L C S square plus one into L C V naught S minus I naught L. Right? Well and good. So V of S would be. Just you need to solve all these problems very. Like with very concentration because one step and whole problem will be wrong, right? I not L upon L C S square plus one, right? So similarly, you need to improve it. Then you will get the V T waveform that you will get V not cos. One by root L C T minus I naught into root L by C sine omega naught T, where omega naught is one by root L C into T. When you solve it, when you solve this expression, you will get this. Okay, you can solve this expression. No, this is directly seen. L C you will take outside, and this will be cancelled. In this one, what will you, what will happen? You will take L C outside. And s square plus one by root l c, one by root l c whole square, but uh, you need one by root l c, and another one by root l c is there, so this will give you i not root c by l. So root l by c, sorry, root l by c. This will get cancelled. Root l by c it will be. Okay. Well and good. Okay. So this is the v v t waveform you are getting. So you, now you have. Uh, Now you have calculated the current, both current and this was your current I T, and this was your voltage V C T. So both you have collected, both you have found V C T and I T. Okay, so this is the expression. Now you can find the same by solving differential equation as well. So now we will solve by differential equation. Okay, so this is my circuit. Now I will write the differential equation. Now since current is the same in capacitor and inductor, so what I will be doing? I'll be writing the KVL. Current is same, so I can't write KCL. So I will write KVL, right? So I'm writing the KVL. So this IT current will generate voltage in the negative direction, right? What I'm saying, this IT current is flowing like this. IT current is flowing like this. So what will be VCT? Your VCT would be minus. Sorry. Yeah, VCT would be. What would be your VCT? That would be minus one by C integration I T dot D T plus V naught by 
S. Why V not by S? Just simply V not. So what will be your VCT? VCT would be this current is flowing in the opposite direction, right? This current is flowing in the opposite direction. So mi minus one by C integration I T dot dt. You can say from zero to t. So I T dot dt plus V not. And what about VLT? VLT will be like this because the current is flowing from up to down. So VLT will be like this. VLT would be L dit by dt and that is equal to VCT. VLT is basically equal to VCT because the current is flowing like this. So L dit by dt is equal to VCT and VCT if the current is going like this from down to up that means VCT plus V node and the, this current will decrease the potential. So minus 1 by C integration I dot dt. So whenever you are applying these um, when you are applying these equations, just take full notice. Okay, in rough as well, you should be doing all these analysis. Okay, then only then only you will be able to write it. So basically, L d i t by d t plus one by c integration. So basically, from here, what do you get? L d i t by d t and v c t. This minus sign will come here, so it will be plus so one by c zero to t i t d t. And the V naught can remain there or it can come here as well. So minus V naught is equal to 0. Okay. Now I have to differentiate to eradicate this integration sign. So I will differentiate. By differentiating, I am getting 1 by C is equal to 0 because this is a constant value. This will go to 0. So di square t by dt square actually dt square plus 1 by root lc square into it is equal to 0. So d square plus 1 by root lc square into it is equal to 0. So what are the roots that you are getting? This is fd and you will put fd equals to 0. So the roots that you are getting is plus minus j 1 by root lc right plus minus j 1 by root lc these are the roots that you are getting now what are your roots tell me what are the roots it is purely on j omega axis right that means it gives a purely on j omega axis that is 1 by root lc and minus 1 by root lc that means it will give you undamped response undamped response right it will be undamped response okay and how will the equation look like actually uh, it would be c1 cos 1 by root lct plus c2 sin 1 by root lct now based on the initial and final condition you have to find the value of c1 and c2 like just see here what was it in in our case when we found it was i naught cos omega dt and uh, this value and this value so basically this is my c1 this is my c2 so that you need to find based on the initial and final value by differentiating or integrating so c1 c2 you need to find but that we don't need to find for now find c1 c2 but we will not find it now why not now because we have already seen the final answer this is the final answer and this is not the method that we will be using in exam or during the interview the method that that we are going to use during the exam or interview that i will tell you once we are done with this with the theoretical analysis but real intuitive analysis how to solve in seconds that i will tell you later on okay so this here my main motive is to give you like give you the concept that it can be written like this as well and vt will be the same as well vt will also be c1 if this is c1 i am writing i will write this as something else k1 i can write okay k1 1 upon root lct plus k2 sin 1 by root lc
okay and then you can find k1 and k2 k1 and k2 how will you find putting t equals to 0 or differentiating that we have already seen but it will be very much difficult like it will take a lot of time so that's why i am ignoring it as, as of now right so this is our final expressions okay now this is how this is how generally people solve okay the question will come they will ask you what is the voltage waveform across the capacitor we will solve like this and this is the final answer we get they ask you what is the current through the capacitor we will solve like this this is the final answer we get so these kind of question only come now we will see sourced lc circuit okay so i will solve it only by laplace okay not by time domain because this is not the final method that we are going to use actually right so now we are seeing sourced lc circuit okay so how do you solve it solving by laplace there are no initial condition there can be initial condition as well but for now there are no initial condition the inductor is initially having zero voltage and initially having zero current and capacitor is initially having zero voltage right so solving by laplace this voltage v would become v by s this l would become ls this c would become 1 by cs this will be vcs this will be vls and this would be i is right so v by s is equals to is into ls plus 1 by cs right so cv upon lcs square plus 1 this is your is this is what we are getting the c will go upward lcs square will come downward yeah this is what we are getting so what will be your it it would be v into root c by l right lc would come so root c by l it will be v v by resistance resistance is root L. yeah so it, if you solve it what will happen lc upon s square plus 1 by root lc square so here only you need 1 by root lc only so another 1 by root lc is there so this would give you sinusoid and cv upon root lc so basically v into root c by l this is what this is what we will get right this into and this will give you sinusoid sine 1 by root lc into t right this is your it okay now what about vct what will be your vcs sorry what will be your vcs your vcs would simply be 1 by cs upon 1 by cs plus ls into v by s voltage is divided in proportion of impedances so 1 by cs upon 1 by cs plus ls into v by s okay 1 upon lc s square plus 1 into v by s right so for this v would come outside 1 by s minus lcs lcs square plus 1 right so it will be lcs square plus 1 yeah this is fine i am just breaking it down nothing else so this would give me v into 1 minus cos omega naught t ut right this is your vct right this is your vct now what about vlt vlt what about vlt vlt is v minus vct vlt is v minus vct so it will simply be v cos 1 by root lc into t ut this is how you write it this is a simple analysis most of the students use this analysis in the exam as well 
ओके बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंटूटिवली हाउ टू राइट इन वन सेकेंड नॉट इन वन सेकेंड इन टेन टू थर्टी सेकेंड्स देन यू नीड टू वॉच द फर्दर वीडियो एज वेल अदरवाइज इट दिस टॉपिक इज कंप्लीटेड फॉर यू अदरवाइज दिस टॉपिक इज कंप्लीटेड फॉर यू बिकॉज सिंपली या वी कैन ड्रो द वे फॉर्म्स एज वेल एक्चुअली वी डि नॉट ड्रो द वे फॉर्म्स सो फॉर आई टी इफ आई ड्रो द वे फॉर्म सो फॉर ऑल थ्री आई कैन ड्रो द वे फॉर्म नाउ ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल ड्रो फॉर आई टी आई टी वर्सेज टी ओके सो लाइक दिस इज द वे एवरी वन फाइंड द आंसर फाइनल आंसर बाई अपलाइंग लाप्लास और डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस इज हाउ यू फाइंड द फाइनल आंसर बट आई विल टेल यू वन मैथड फ्रॉम देयर यू विल बी एबल टू जस्ट बाई सींग वॉचिंग द सर्किट यू विल बी एबल टू राइट डाउन द फाइनल रिजल्ट ओके सो दैट मैथड आई विल टेल यू जस्ट नाउ आफ्टर दिस एनालिसिस ओके सो फॉर आई टी द वे फॉर्म विल बी साइनोसोइड एंड मैक्सिमम एम्पलीट्यूड इज वी इन टू रूट सी वाई एल सो इट इज साइनोसोइड ओके So I will just make the axes for all these. Okay, the thing is to make sinusoid or cosinusoid in writing pad. It is very difficult in writing pad. The waveform doesn't come that that good. Yeah, but I will try. If I If I fail, then I will have to pause the video and then make it. Yeah. So sinusoid. So sinusoid. It doesn't come that good. I have to pause the video. Okay. I will pause the video and make it more clear. Yeah. So this is the best I can draw. Okay. I have tried my best. So yeah. So just the waveforms, simple waveforms, sinusoid waveform. then what is the minimum value it can get that is zero uh, because when cos is maximum that is one so minimum value will be zero and what will be the maximum value when cos is minus one so maximum value will be 2b so from 0 to 2b it rises and what about this this is simple cosinusoid so this is cosinusoid this is simple cosinusoid the waveform doesn't look that good i know but i don't think there are some option to make sinusoid and cosinusoid right by this can you make no you can't really make by this right so i have to do it like this okay so yeah just the waveforms you have drawn now we will see how to write these expression with intuition or in one step okay so just go with me okay uh, forget about anything just i am asking you a simple question if this is function sin omega not t what is the initial value of this put t equals to 0 0 what is the initial value of this put t equals to 0 1 what is the initial value of this put t equals to 0 only these function you will be using just see the previous expression cos 1 minus cos sin cos cos and sin basically cos and sin cos and sin so only these expression will be used only sin cos and 1 minus cos will come okay so initial value is 0 1 1 that's why we are more that's why we are inclined towards these three function because these three function only will come what is the final value what is the meaning of final value meaning of final value is steady state value or you can say value at t equals to infinity or you can say value at omega equals to zero right or you can say dc value uh, what do you mean by dc value that is average average value so tell me what is the average of sinusoid zero right this is the sinusoid what is the average of this not that good <laughs> this is the sinusoid this is the sinusoid what is the average of this what is the average zero and what is the average of a cosinusoid that is also zero and what is the okay okay sorry sorry what is the initial value of this that is zero not one cos zero is one so it is zero and what is the average of this function average of cos is zero so average of this function is one okay so if there is some expression you are finding some expression let's just assume you are finding the expression of current let us assume you are you are finding the expression of current so if there is some expression where initial condition and both final condition are zero you can find initial and final condition right by short circuiting open circuiting initially inductor will be open circuited capacitor will be shorted at steady state capacitor will be open circuited inductor will be shorted so by doing short circuit and open circuit you can find the initial and final condition so if initial and final condition both are zero then expression will be sinusoid right then 
initial and final both are zero then expression will be sinusoid now people will say that response is going to be oscillatory so what do you mean by final by final i am saying average okay so in the circuit we will do this analysis that uh, we will see at t equals to 0 at t equals to infinity i know oscillation there will be always oscillation but uh, uh, like uh, final value means that omega equals to 0 as well like uh, what is omega l uh, what is the inductance what is the resistance provided by the inductor that is omega l and what is the uh, inductance what is the impedance provided by the capacitor that is 1 by omega c so at steady state omega is 0 so that means it will be 0 so if the impedance is 0 that means it is short circuited at steady state this will be infinity that means it will be open circuited so I know there is no steady state, there is constant oscillation, but to solve the problem, just to solve the problem, we will consider the steady state as well, okay, just to solve the problem, are you getting my point, are you getting what is final value here, final value here is the average value, but in the circuit what do we consider that final value is steady state value, final value equals to average value equals to steady state value, you just need to remember this thing and you need to remember one thing is that if initial value is 0 and final value is 0, you will expression will be sinusoid. How will you remember? You can remember the initial thing because what is the initial value of sinusoid? 0. So if initial is 0, that means you need to see final. Okay, final is also 0, sinusoid. Initial is 1, that means expression will be cosinusoid. Expression cosinusoid. Cosinusoid. And if initial value is 0 and final value is 1, that means 1 minus cosinusoid. Cosinusoid. Okay. Initial 1, final, uh, sorry, initial 0, final 1. That means 1 minus cosinusoid. And if both are present, then we will apply superposition theorem. Okay. So, like this may seem that too much to remember, but uh, it's not too much to remember when you solve the problem it will be all clear to you like first thing i am solving a circuit i got to know my initial current is zero so i will be uh, i will have only one thing in mind that is sinusoid okay so i will be thinking my expression will be sinusoid then i will check final value if my final value is zero most probably it will be zero only so if my final value is zero then i will get to know okay sinusoid will be applied now my if my final value is becoming something that means from 0 to I am going to some value that means 1 minus cos sinusoid. Okay. And if my initial value is 1, that means I have to apply cos sinusoid. Whenever you get initial value is 1, I have to apply cos sinusoid. When we solve the problem, it will be more clear to you. Okay. And when both initial and final are there, that 1 1 is there, then what we will what we will do? When 1 1 is there, we will apply superposition theorem. Okay. Just two important note you have to remember. First, let's see the second one. What is the impedance? Impedance is root L by C. Whenever I say the word impedance, you always need to think root L by C. How will you remember? People get confused between root L by C and some get confused between root C L by C. Root C by L. So, how will you remember what is the impedance one? What is the impedance provided by the inductance? That is LS. What is the impedance provided by the capacitance? That is 1 by CS. So, C will come at low and L will come at high. So, numerator will have inductance and denominator will have the capacitance. So, root L by C. Are you getting my point? This is how you will remember actually. Okay. So, impedance is root L by C. Okay. Now, what is the voltage? Voltage is current into the impedance. So, current into root L by C. What is current? Current is voltage into voltage by impedance. So, voltage into root C by L. Okay. So, if uh, both initial and final condition are uh, in finite, so we will apply superposition and this is the impedance. Now, and the second point is that in case of a source free LC circuit, no, you will prefer writing voltage across the capacitor and current through the inductor. Like in in the in this is a source free LC circuit, right? So here VCT is equal to VLT, right? Voltage across inductor is voltage across voltage over, voltage across inductor is equal to the voltage across the capacitor. So even if they are asking about the voltage across the inductor you will think of finding voltage across the capacitor why i am saying so you will get to know okay and in this circuit as well like the current is also same for all the 
for the complete circuit, the current is also same. So, IT is equals to ILT is equals to minus ICT. Right. So, when they are asking about the capacitor current, you will still think of inductor current. Are you getting my point? What I want to say here is that in case of a source free LC circuit, the voltage across the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor are same only. So, even if they are asking about the voltage across the inductor, I will think of the voltage across the capacitor and both are same. So, I can write it down. And even if they are asking about the voltage through the capacitor, I will think about the current. So, whatever that is conserved, that I will write down. Okay. In, in, uh, in case of inductor, what is conserved? Current. So, while writing the current, I will think of the inductor current. And then I can write, uh, write down about the capacitor current as well. And why, what is conserved in capacitor? That is voltage. So, while writing about the voltage, I will think of the capacitor voltage. Then I can change it to the inductor current, uh, inductor voltage as well. You can write directly inductor voltage as well, but there will be some issue while applying this method, the method that I am going to tell you. Okay. So, let's take the example and we will understand everything. Okay. By example, it will be more clear to you. So, this is the example. Here, there are two sources. There are two initial sources. There are two initial sources. So, what I will do? I will apply superposition. Okay apply superposition you will be like while explaining this will take time but once you are comfortable you will be writing it very quickly okay so i will i will apply superposition so first i am i am talking about vct first i am talking about vct okay so first i am considering only v naught considering only v naught here i am considering only v naught okay and then i will consider considering only i naught then i will consider only i naught only i naught okay so considering only v naught that means i naught is gone that means that means inductor is initially having zero current l there is this zero ampere current okay and this capacitor is having v naught voltage now, what you are going to write? You are going to write VCT. VC1T, I will call it VC1T because we are applying superposition theorem. So, what will be VC1T? Tell me, what is the value of VC1 at t equals to 0 plus? That is V0. What is the value of VC1 at infinity? Since there is no source involved, everything will be 0, right? There is no source involved, everything will be 0. Or you can say that at infinity, it will be shorted and inductor will be open circuited. So, voltage will be 0 only. Some initial value is there, but final value is 0. Some initial value is there, but final value is 0. What you will apply? Cos. V naught cos omega naught t. Omega naught is always 1 by root LC. Are you getting my point? How did I write it? What did I do? First, I found out the value at t equals to 0. That is V naught. Value at infinity, that will go to 0 because uh, there is no source involved. And also you can see that capacitor will be shorted and it will be open circuited inductor will, sorry capacitor will be open circuited and inductor will be shorted so the value is itself going to zero only so initially some value finally no value that means cos so v not the case when there is no source involved this this case will never come this case will never come when there is no source involved in this question there is no source involved right only by the initial condition something is happening in the circuit so this case 1 minus cos omega naught t will never come this one will never come if there is no source involved, right? Now considering only I naught, considering only I naught, this inductor is having I naught current in this direction, okay? And this capacitor is having zero volt. And what we are talking? This is your VC. VC at t equals to zero plus is zero volt. VC2, actually this will be VC2 and VC2 at infinity will be 0 volt again. Since there is this uh, 0 volt there, V0 is gone now. So, this is 0 volt and this is 0 volt. Initially 0, finally 0. Initially 0, final, finally 0, that means sinusoid. So, your VC2 would be some sinusoid. It would be some sinusoid. Now, what will be the magnitude? How will you write the magnitude? Okay, that's the 
thing. How will you write the amplitude? Now, this inode current will be flowing through the capacitor in this direction. That means it is charging the capacitor in the opposite direction, right? This I note current is charging the capacitor in opposite direction. This I note current is flowing like this. So it is charging the capacitor in the opposite direction. So VC2 is a being charged in the opposite direction because of current I note. So what is the current? I note. What is voltage? Current into resistance. What is resistance? That is root L by C. So this is the expression of VC1. And this is the expression of VC2. I will repeat it once again. What did I do? Okay. There are two sources, V0 and I0. What did I do? First, I consider only V0. Because of V0, initially V0 voltage, finally it is going to be 0. So V0 cos omega0 t. Because at t equals to 0, I need V0. At t equals to 0, I need V0. Because of I0, what did I see? Initially, it is 0 because V0 is gone. Initially, it is 0. Finally, it is going to be 0 only. Okay. Now, it will be sinusoid that I know. But I need to know the magnitude. Now, because of current, I am writing the magnitude. Because of what? Because of current. So, what will be my magnitude? Current, no, not magnitude, amplitude. Current into the resistance. Now, current is flowing in the opposite direction of VC2. VC2 was this plus minus, but the current is flowing in the opposite direction. Because of that, negative sign will come. Current is I0 and the impedance is root L by C. So, what is my VC now? VC is VC1 plus VC2. That's it. VC is VC1 plus VC2. That is V0 cos omega0 t plus minus I0, oh sorry, minus I0 root L by C sin omega0 t. If you are very much comfortable with this, you will be able to write it down in one minute only. Okay. Although here the switch is being closed at t equals to 0, this, this method is wrong. Right in the initial part of video, I have told you like this is not how we should show. But yeah, uh, just just bear with it. Okay, this is how not we should show that I not current is flowing. So if switch is open, the I not current cannot flow. But uh, just just consider it. Okay, yeah. So this is over VC now. Are you getting my point? This is over VC. Okay, and uh, the same will be if this is my VLT. If this is my VLT, if this, this I call VLT, so VCT would be equals to VLT only. So here VCT would be equals to VLT only, right? And this is my VCT, okay? So here I wrote the expression of VCT. Now I can find ICT or IT with the simple differentiation of VCT as well, but this is not how I will find it. So now I will comment on IT, right? I will comment on what? IT. So there are two sources involved considering only V0 or first I will consider considering only I0 and then I will consider only V0 considering only V0 okay so this is the capacitor capacitor is having zero voltage now because I am not considering the voltage i am just considering the current and what is the direction of current that i am taking that is in the same direction of i note so this is the direction of current i am taking it so what will be it initial value of current is zero, sorry i not ampere i of 0 plus is i not ampere right infinity it will go to 0 so simply i not cos omega not t ut in the exam, you will not need to draw this circuit because you will see, okay, first I will consider I0. Because of I0, it will be I0 cos omega0 t because initially it is I0 and eventually it is going down to 0. So basically, this is I0 cos omega0 t ut. So this will be my uh, I1 t. Actually, I1 t I should call I1 t. I1 t. I1. I1. Okay. Now considering only V0. Considering only V0. Okay, this is capacitor C. This is V0 and current here is 0. Current here is as of now 0 ampere. This is the IT, I2T current. Right? So what will be I2T? Tell me. I2T, I2 at T equals to 0. 0 plus it is 0. Right? 
initial current is zero right because i am considering it zero at t equals to zero plus it is zero ampere what is the value at i2 of infinity it will also be zero ampere so it will be some sinusoid right it will be some sinusoid omega not t actually it will be some sinusoid now what will be the magnitude that we need to see what will be the magnitude voltage into voltage by resistance sorry current is what voltage by resistance what is voltage now this v not voltage will will be coming here right and now because of this v not voltage this v not voltage the current will be flowing in what direction the current will be flowing in this direction only right because of this v not voltage the current will be flowing in the inductor in this direction only right so sorry so basically what will be my magnitude v not by resistance resistance is root l by c so if you take it upward it will be v not root c by l are you getting my point because of this v not voltage the current will be flowing in the same direction as i2t right I, we have understood if there is a across the inductor if there is some voltage it will induce some current right and in case of capacitor if there is some current it will induce some voltage so that's why i am saying for volt for capacitor we will write voltage and for inductor we will write current are you getting my point so this is how i am writing i t now okay this is my i1 this is my i2 okay and if i remove this move it and make it short so basically what will be my i t my i t will be i naught cos omega naught t plus v naught root c by l sin omega naught t u t okay it may seem a bit of kind of a bit of complex to you but believe me with time you will be comfortable with this okay and in the exam it, this much of tough question will not come most probably they will give the initial voltage to capacitor not to the inductor in exam most probably this will happen they will give initial voltage to the capacitor but inductor will, will be inductor current will be zero so at, at that time you don't need to apply superposition only one considering only one source you can write the expression so how will you write that is the important thing v not voltage v not voltage going, will be going to the capacitor inductor and it will induce the current in this direction so the current in this direction would be voltage into the impedance what is the impedance that is root c by l sin omega naught t ut right so this is how we are writing now we will be considering what we will be considering this example in this example what is happening everything is coming like this is the maximum they can ask that's it <sighs> voltage source is there inductor is initially having i naught current capacitor is initially having v naught voltage the switch is being closed at t equals to 0 you need to write vlt vct ilt everything okay inductor initially i not current capacitor initially v not voltage okay the switch is being closed at t equals to zero so what we will do what first we need to write first we will write vct okay so we will write vct there are multiple sources right so first i will consider considering only vs considering only vs So only Vs is there, no initial voltage, no initial current, nothing is there. Okay, and I am writing VCT. Only Vs is there. So tell me, what is Vc 0 plus? What is Vc 0 plus? That is 0. Initially, the capacitor will be shorted, that is 0. What will be Vc infinity? From 0 to you are going to Vs voltage. But because at steady state, the capacitor will be shorted and in sorry the inductor will be shorted and capacitor will be open circuited and here you are having vs voltage so this complete vs voltage will come there 
so at steady state you are having vs voltage right so what will be my vc vc1 t actually so what will be my vc1 t initially zero at steady state something 1 minus cos omega naught t right initially zero at steady state something 1 minus cos omega naught t because whenever there is a some source involved 1 minus cos omega naught t may come right 1 minus cos omega naught t may come when there is a source involved so now there is a source involved that's why this is what is happening okay so this is considering only vs now considering only i naught considering only i naught considering only i naught so vs will be gone that will be shorted now i have only i naught current and that i naught current is flowing in what direction in upward direction so this i naught is flowing like this right and here this is my vc 2t this is c this is l tell me what is vc 2 at t equals to 0 plus that is 0 volt what is vc because there is no initial voltage right no initial voltage is there only i am i considering i naught and what will be vc2 at infinity that will also be zero only from zero to zero it will go initially it is zero at steady state as well the capacitor will be open circuited and the inductor will be shorted so it will be zero volt only right <coughs> so what will be my vc2t vc2t will come as some sinusoid some sinusoid now what will be the magnitude what will be the amplitude amplitude will be current into resistance so what is the current current is i naught flowing in this direction so the current is flowing from up to down that means it will charge the capacitor in the same direction in this direction only this i naught current this i naught current is flowing in the capacitor in the same direction that means it will charge the capacitor in this direction only right so if it is charging the capacitor in this direction only that means my voltage magnitude will be current into resistance what is resistance resistance is root l y c so this is my vc 2t right this is my vc 2t this was my vc 1t now what about considering only v naught like this i am telling you because you are solving it for the first time once you have the practice you will not need to make the circuit again and again right by so seeing the circuit you will write these three expression only directly right initially the inductor is having zero ampere current now right now and this is having v naught voltage this is capacitor and this is vc 3t what will be your vc vc3 at t equals to 0 plus that will be v naught and since there is no source in this case vc3 at t equals to G infinity will go to 0 only so what will be your vc3t initially it is v naught so v naught cos omega naught t basically these three expressions are there this so your final answer would be so your final answer would be final answer on the next page your vct would be vc1 t plus vc2 t plus vc3 t okay now i will tell you how i will think in exam in in exam i will see okay v, vs because of only vs initial condition is gone that means only because of vs initially zero at steady state vs so vs minus cos omega naught t right so simply i will write vs minus vs into 1 minus cos omega naught t first expression i have written then i will think because of the current okay so because of the current the current this input is one the current is flowing in the same direction that means it will vc t will be charged only right vc t will be charged only the current is flowing in the same direction so it will be charged only so current into resistance and initially zero voltage finally also zero voltage so it will be sinusoid it will be sinusoid and what will be the magnitude current into resistance what is the resistance root l y c and it will be sinusoid now i will think because of v naught because of v naught only v naught will become so initially i am having v naught and at steady state it will be zero initially i am having v naught that way that's why it will be cosinusoid so v naught 
cos omega naught t so that's how in one line and within 20 seconds i will be able to write down my final answer and this is the biggest expression they can ask no expression can be bigger than this because there is source involved there is initial condition of inductor is also there there is initial condition of capacitor is also there so this is the biggest they can ask right and everything since the switch is closed at t equals to 0 so ut also will be multiplied and what is omega that is 1 by root lc so this is how you write vct now what will be now what will we will be writing we will be writing vlt but for writing vlt i told you what did i tell you because now you already know vct so you can write vlt what will be vlt vs minus vct vs minus vct right or do i need to do this analysis again for vlt no i do i don't think i need to do this analysis again so simply vlt would be vs minus vct right so what will be subtracted are you getting this point vs minus vct right that's it so what will be subtracted so final answer would be vs cos omega naught t and all these will be negative this is minus v minus minus v naught cos omega naught t ut this is your vlt right this is your vlt now i will write ilt although i can write ilt equals to ldi by dt but i will not integrate i will not differentiate it right i am not going to differentiate okay so what i will do again i will consider only vs considering only vs this is only vs inductor is there right this is the capacitor so tell me what is initial i this is ilt right this is ilt what is the initial value of il at e equals to 0 that is 0 plus you can say that is 0 ampere and at steady state what will be the value at steady state what will happen at steady state what will happen this inductor will be shorted and capacitor will be open circuited at steady state the inductor will be shorted and capacitor will be open circuited so current will also be 0 ampere so this i should call i l1 t so i l1 t initially zero at steady state also zero that means it will be some sinusoid right it will be some sinusoid now you need to think what is the magnitude magnitude will be voltage into current now tell me what will be the voltage across the inductor this is the inductor here i guess i can solve it here little here so this is the inductor this end is at 0 volt and this end is at Vs, right? Now, here we are having Vs voltage and that will generate current in the same direction, in this direction only. So, that will generate the current in this direction only. I can call it some I dash T. Vs generating in the same direction. So, basically Vs by resistance. What is 1 by resistance? That is root C by L. So, this is my I L 1 T. How did I write it? At t equals to 0, the current is 0. At infinity as well, it will be 0 only. So, it will be some sinusoid. Now, I need to check the amplitude. How will I write the amplitude? Here 0 voltage, here Vs voltage. Now, because of this Vs voltage, the current will be flowing in this direction. And this is the same direction of IL1T. So, voltage into the voltage by the resistance. Voltage by resistance. Current is voltage by resistance. Vo voltage, what is the reciprocal of resistance? That is root C by L. Got it? So, this is my I L 1 T. Now, I will write I L 2 T considering only I naught. Considering only I naught. Okay. So initial condition is I naught flowing in this direction. The capacitor is charged to 0 volt. I L 2 T. Okay. So, what is I L 2 at T equals to 0 plus? 
that is i naught what will be i l2 at t equals to infinity since there is no solution involved it will go to zero so i l2 t would be what i naught cos omega naught t u t right now considering only v naught only v naught so what will happen this is the inductor this is the capacitor right what is the direction of current that we are taking like this in the capacitor the current is going like this this is the direction that we are taking okay so this is the voltage v not we are having now tell me one thing this voltage will be going to this v not voltage right this v not yeah so this v not will be going to the inductor volt inductor as well and that will generate the current in what direction that will generate the current in opposite direction now people will get confused and what they will say that il t3 is charging the capacitor il t3 is charging the capacitor and it will increase v not yeah that's the correct point but you have to see the current not the voltage you are talking about the current not the voltage right so if this capacitor is having v not voltage you need to see because of this v not voltage what will be the, what will be the effect in the current because of the v not voltage what will be the effect in the current that you need to see not that the v not will be v not will be increasing or decreasing no 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 because of this v not voltage what is happening in the circuit because of this v not voltage the same v not voltage will be going across the inductor and that will generate the current in the opposite direction now this current is generated in the opposite direction that's why what i will do i will put a negative sign but before that what i need to do what is my i l t at t equals to 0 plus that is 0 ampere because initially inductor is having 0 ampere and at steady state as well it will be 0 ampere but in time domain how will i write it it will be some sinusoid right it will be some sinusoid and it will be some sinusoid what will be the magnitude that will be voltage into voltage by resistance so v naught into root c by l but with a negative sign because it is flowing in the um, opposite direction did you get what 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 i was saying here what i was saying here is was that while writing the current you need to see the effect because of the voltage so if you are writing the current your mind should be with respect to current only not voltage that il3 will be charging the capacitor so v naught voltage will go up no 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 because of v naught voltage what will happen to the current so because of this v naught voltage this same voltage will be coming across the inductor and the current will be flowing in the opposite direction so voltage into voltage by resistance so v naught into root c by l and minus sign will be there because it is flowing in the opposite direction okay what will be your complete ilt so your complete ilt will be look it will not take that much of time i am again saying it right in the exam it will not take that much of time if you are good with the practice right because in the exam what you can see okay because of vs what will happen initially there is no current at steady state as well there is no current that means it will be some sinusoid some sinusoid will be there okay well and good now some sinusoid is there uh, because of this sinusoid like uh, i need to check what is the potential across the inductor what is the pro potential across the inductor that is vs so vs into uh, vs into vs by resistance so vs by resistance would be vs into root c by l sin omega naught t now i will see because of i naught i naught is flowing in the same direction initially it is i naught at steady state it will be zero so it will simply be i naught into cos omega naught t ut and then i will see because of v naught because of v naught the i naught is flowing the because of v naught the current is flowing in the opposite direction now i need to write the amplitude so it will be negative of v naught into root c by l and then it will be some sinusoid because initially it is zero and steady state it will also be zero so simply this is how you will be able to write and these many condition will not be there there will be hardly 
वन और टू इनिशियल कंडीशन वन इनिशियल कंडीशन एंड वन वोल्टेज सोर्स कैन भी देर दट इज द मैक्म दे विल आस्क दे विल नॉट गिव यू करंट करंट कंडीशन एज वेल वोल्टेज कंडीशन एज वेल एंड वोल्टेज सोर्स एज वेल दीज थ्री विल नॉट बी देर ओल्ड टूगेदर ओनली टू टू ऑफ द थिंग्स विल बी देर सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल बी राइटिंग ऑल द एक्सप्रेशन ओके दिस वॉज योर फाइनल आई एल टी दिस वॉज योर फाइनल वी एल टी एंड दिस वॉज योर फाइनल वी सी टी सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ राइटिंग डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट डिड यू लाइक दिस अनालिस दिस वॉज अ बिट ऑफ डिफरेंट अनालिस राइट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट एंड ऑल्सो लाइक इट ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन This question was asked in Gate 2022 Instrumentation Examination. Actually, I I remember solving this question live in the exam. I gave the Gate 2022 exam actually. So yeah, firstly I did this wrong. Then after some time I I got it right. So I spent around 15 minutes on this problem only. But you will not spend that much of time. Okay. So at that time I I didn't have that concept clear that how to write the it uh, directly. So I applied Laplace transform and all these things. Okay. So this is the circuit in front of you wait a minute yeah so the capacitor is initially having 10 volt and value is 10 microfarad okay value is 10 microfarad initially it is having 10 volt okay the switch is closed at equals to 0 and there is this ideal diode okay and the inductor is not having any initial current right this is this ideal diode is initially charged to is 10 microfarad and inductance value is 1 milli henry okay you need to find capacitor voltage vct that is given like this this is your vct at t equals to 0.5 second what is the diode i i hope all, all of you know it this is a diode this is called p this is called n if the current is flowing in this direction diode is on okay and if the current is flowing in the opposite direction diode will be off okay now let's just assume if diode is off if diode is off nothing will happen in the circuit this will be there at 10 volt only so nothing will happen in the circuit but so first we have to consider if the diode is on now if i am considering let diode is on let diode is on okay so this is my capacitor i am just talking about the diode now this is my capacitor and this is my inductor and i am considering the diode is on that means the current is flowing in this direction so now i need to check if the current is flowing in the same direction or not so let's just assume if this is charged to 10 volt not not assume if it is given if this is charged to 10 volt and i am saying that the this is on that means it will be replaced with short circuit the diode is on that means it will be replaced with short circuit okay then this 10 volt will come here now this 10 volt will charge the capacitor inductor in this direction so the current is flowing in this direction only so the diode is on initially diode is on what i did the 10 volt will will be coming to the inductor and because of this 10 volt the current will be flowing in this direction only that means current current flowing from p to n only this was p this was n current flowing let diode is on at t equals to 0 okay from p to n only that means assumption is correct like many of the teacher explain this problem but we never explain why diode is on okay it should be explained why diode is on that is the main problem why diode is on initially so they just said that this is diode okay and here the, this capacitor is charged to 10 volt and initially inductor will be open circuited so here it is 0 volt is it 0 volt no this is 0 volt this is open ended you can't tell what is the potential of this so you can't really tell by potential if diode is on or off you have to check by current are you getting my point so i am checking by current here so what did i do first i assumed the diode to be on if the diode is on that means 10 volt will be coming across the inductor that means this will drive the current in this direction that means the current is flowing from p to n so for t equals to 0 the diode is on are you getting my point so this this is wrong okay this doesn't make any sense this is not zero 
this is zero the this one is open ended right so the assumption is correct now what is my circuit my circuit is this C L 10 voltage okay this is my VCT this is what this is my VCT and this will be IT now I will be interested in two things VCT and IT why I am interested in IT why I, I am interested in VCT because this is what I need to find voltage across the capacitor that's why I am interested in VCT why I am interested in IT because one thing I know that IT will be sinusoid or cosinusoid there will be oscillations so there can be some time like let's just assume my it is coming 5 sin omega naught t so how, what will be the graph of 5 sin omega naught t this will be the graph so after some time the current will direction will be negative and if the current direction is negative that means the current will be flowing like this and in the diode if the current starts flow like this this will not allow the current to flow that means it will be replaced with open circuited so th at that time the circuit will be broken the diode will be open circuited so capacitor would be having some voltage and inductor uh, current will go down to zero at that time because it is open circuited so that voltage will remain there across the capacitor are you getting my point at some time i know that the current is sinusoid or cosinusoid whatever it is but at some time it can go negative when it goes negative that means at that time diode will be off and no current will flow that means this side will be different this side will be different okay so i will write down two expression so tell me do i need to write any uh, laplace transform or anything like that no i can write it what i have only 10 volt source because of this 10 volt source it current will be flowing in this direction only so 10 voltage into the resistance what is the resistance root l by c initially the current is zero at steady state the current is also zero so it will be 10 into roots uh, l by c sinusoid sin omega naught t ut how did i write it in one step initially the current is zero finally current why current is zero because there is no initial current in the inductor so initially the current is zero and at steady state as well the current is zero because there is no source involved now this will be sinusoid that i know now i need to know the magnitude so how will i know the magnitude 10 volt is coming across the inductor while writing the current i will always thought of I will, I will always think of inductor so 10 10 volt is by, 10 volt is coming across the inductor so voltage into the resistance what is the resistance root l by c that's it are you getting my point so this is my it okay what will be my vct vct initial voltage is 10 volt at steady state it will go to zero initial 10 steady state it will go to zero so it will simply be 10 cos omega naught t ut let's find the value of omega naught first okay omega naught is 1 by root lc 1 by root lc 10 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 8 it will be 10 to the power 4 actually okay it will be 10 to the power 4 actually unit is radian per second okay it will be 10 to the power 4 so let's make the graph of it okay why we are making the graph of it why we are making the graph of it because we want to know when does the current changes its direction this is the graph of it right right and what is the graph of vt what is the graph of vt vct tan cos omega naught t so it will start from here so let me draw some lines
right it will go on like this right making the graph here is very difficult actually it will keep on going like this this will be the maximum so it will just follow this thing okay okay i am not exactly following it so this is how it will go it will start from 10 volt and what is the maximum value for this that is something 10 root l by c or whatever it is 10 root l by c so it is 10 root l by c this is the maximum voltage but from 10 volt it is going so this is some time t let's assume this is time 2t we can say this is time t3 we can say or anything like it will be t by 2 actually or anything we can say actually okay so what is my it it is simply it is simply tan into root c by root c by l sin omega naught t so when is the first time that when is the first time that this uh, at what time what i mean to say is that at what time the current becomes zero at what time the current becomes zero for the first time for the first time when this angle is equals to pi right it will become zero for the first time when this omega naught t is equals to pi right here the current starts flowing at some after this the current will be negative so after omega naught t equals to pi the current will be negative will be negative right so from here what do I, what can i write so basically omega naught t1 is equals to pi at this point the current is negative pi by omega naught what is the value of omega naught that is 10 to the power 4 that means pi by 10 actually i didn't need to use 0 0.314 actually calculator was not required yeah so t1 is this so what does that mean after 0 0.314 millisecond the direction of the current will be opposite in diode after 0 0.314 millisecond the direction of current will be opposite after 0 0.314 millisecond the direction of the current in the diode will change so basically this is the capacitor it will be having some voltage this is the inductor it will be having some current but then it will be like this so here diode will be o it is having some voltage that we call vc 0.314 that voltage vc 0.314 voltage will be there so at that time the diode will be off so basically this will be the condition it is having some vc 0.314 voltage right and this is what steady state is and there is this zero ampere current now this capacitor is having 0 0.314 voltage and this inductor is having zero current and this is the steady state no further charging discharging will be there no because there is no connection between the capacitor and the inductor right 
look the current was supposed to flow like this in negative negative oh just negative came, comes the connection between capacitor and inductor is broken if the connection is broken that means there will be no current flow if there was no no diode if there was no diode what would what, what would have been happening the current was flowing like this then the current would have flown like this then it, like this like this first the capacitor was getting charged then capacitor was getting discharged then capacitor again getting charged again getting discharged same with the inductor inductor first getting discharged okay like inductor when the current was flowing like this that means the inductor was getting charged and capacitor was getting discharged now when the current is flowing in the opposite direction that means inductor is getting discharged the current is getting charged but this diode doesn't allow the current to flow in this direction when the current tries to flow in this direction it breaks the link between inductor and the capacitor and this is what the steady state is there will be no further charging no further discharging did you get my point right so this is the complete analysis i have seen many teachers as well solving this problem but we don't they don't really teach the complete concept this is the complete concept no further charging or discharging will be there okay so this is the steady state right so what will be my vc 0.314 basically what is my vc that is tan cos omega naught t right tan cos omega naught t at omega naught t you will just put pi right at this point only at this point only at this point only you are your direction of current is getting changed right at this point only so what will be the value that is minus tan omega naught t what was omega naught omega naught was 10 to the power pi by 10 to the power 4. No, sorry. Omega naught was 10 to the power 4. This is actually milli, 0 0.314 milli. Okay. So you got to know omega naught t is pi. So after omega naught t equals to pi, this current is, doesn't flow. So this is the steady state value. Okay. So 4. T greater than 0 0.314 millisecond VC T or T greater than or equals to 0 0.314 millisecond it will always remain at minus 10 volt right so what did they ask VC at 0 0.5 second will certainly be minus 10 volt only did you get it so what will be the graph of VCT? So I can copy these two graph and then modify it, right? What was supposed to happen? This was supposed to go like this, but these cycles doesn't even come, right? The current goes down to zero after this, right? Current goes to zero. And what about this? These cycles were supposed to come, but these cycles will never come. So it will go to minus 10 only, right? This is your minus 10 volt only. Okay, from 10 to it will go minus 10 it goes to 0 so this is the steady state and what is this time this time is 0 0.314 millisecond this time is 0 0.314 millisecond now if they had asked you what is the voltage at 1 millisecond 10 millisecond 5 second 100 second every time answer would have been minus 10 okay got my point this was the question there is this one more question <coughs> Shall I leave up to you? You can do this question on your own. Right? Can you do? What will be the VCT equation? Just write down the VCT equation. What will be VCT equation? I will be interested in two things. Right? I will be interested in two things. VCT and 
I ILT. What will be my VCT? VCT initial voltage 10, 0 and steady state it will go to 100. So, 100, 1 minus cos omega naught T. Right? And what is my IC? IC or ILT I can say. What will be my ILT? Initially, 0. Inductor is initially having 0 current. At steady state as well, it will be 0 because capacitor will be open circuited. So, it will be 0. Right? So, and what is the initial voltage across the capacitor? It will be some sinusoid that I know because initial and final are 0. So, it will be some sinusoid. Now, I need to write the magnitude. Magnitude will be voltage by resistance. What is the voltage across the inductor initially? 100 volt here, 0 volt here. So, it is 100. 100 into root C by L. 100 into root C by L. Sin omega naught T. Ut. Right? Now, initially the current is flowing in the po positive direction, but when omega naught t is equal to pi, current will try to change the direction, the direction and what will happen? Diode will be O, diode will be O, right? And if diode is O, that means that is the steady state, right? Why is it steady state? Because diode is O, that means it is open circuited, diode is open circuited. This is inductor, this is capacitor. This end of inductor is op open circuited. So, no current will flow, nothing charge, no charging, no discharging will happen. So, this will be the steady state. So, basically at omega equals to, this is the steady state condition. So, what will be VC? at steady state steady state vc at steady state would be 100 into 1 minus cos omega naught t that is pi right so it will be 200 volt right so this is the final answer and we have made the graph as well which graph Three graphs I made as far as I remember. These graphs I made. So this is the current graph. Same circuit is there. This is the same circuit. What we discuss? Same circuit is there. This is the same circuit. Nothing different. Right? So we made three graphs. Here the current is trying to change its direction. And at this point, this is the maximum value we are getting. Twice of the applied voltage. Twice of the applied voltage. Then applied voltage is V. Twice of the applied voltage. Right? Applied voltage was in that case it was 100, right? In this question, it was 100. So, what will be my steady state value? That will be 200 volt. Okay, now some student may think applied voltage is 100 from where 200 volt came. I am applying 100 volt only, and at steady state, I am getting 200 volt. Yeah, it can happen in case of second order circuits. In case of first order circuit, it can never happen, but in case of second order circuit, it can happen that you get higher voltage than the applied voltage. Why is it so? First, it is not a. Why is it so? Because there is the storing element. There is this inductor is there. That is the storing element. So, it can store some current and produce that current into the capacitor to give to give rise to the capacitor voltage. There is the storing element present that is storing some current and delivering it to the capacitor to give rise into the capacitor voltage. Are you getting this point? So, this is the complete LC circuit analysis, okay? And these many questions have been asked only, only one or two questions have been asked and there is this standard question that they ask every time. When diode will be off, steady state will be reached. So, you will be able to solve it very quickly if your concepts are well, good enough, okay? So, yeah, that's the thing and uh, almost everything we have covered, just one more thing is left that is uh, AC transient, sinusoid response to the circuits. Okay, that we will see in the next lecture only and after that we will be solving assignments. Okay, so in the next lecture we will be seeing the sinusoid response and after that we will be solving assignments. Okay then, thank you.